Hey guys, welcome to Peace in the Garden. Happy September. I'm going to do a quick tour of the garden today. All right, so we're going to start with my hybrid cucumber plant. I have two really nice cucumbers. And y'all, please forgive me because if I jump, that means a um, grasshopper doesn't happen to come over here. I have two big grasshoppers in my garden and I am just kind of like tripping. So those are the two beautiful um, cucumbers I'm going to harvest right now. This is my second cucumber plant. And I got one little hybrid cucumber there. I'm going to leave that there for a little bit longer. But I'm very pleased to see all the little flowers that's producing on it. Also going to cut off some of these leaves that look distorted. So we can give life to the ones that are really taking off. Just trying to get everything off because sometimes when you have a lot of dead plants on here, it takes the energy from the plants that are trying to grow. So why leave the dead ones on? Have them fighting with the ones that's surviving so it can give all the energy to the ones that are doing great in the garden. So I cut off quite a few. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then over here, mm, guys, I have not been out here really taking a good look at these okra plants. They are so big. I'm not going to even be able to enjoy them. This one right here is so big. So these two right here are so humongous. They're going to be tough and they're hard. I feel them so tough and hard. And it has like some little bumps on them. If anybody know what that means, you know, please post a comment below. That's my first time seeing one of my okras with some bumps on them. The good news is this is a really decent size. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one off right there and enjoy that one. And I think I'm going to take this baby one too. Alright guys, so this is what not to do. Um, waste not, what not. I'm going to have to do better about coming out and checking because I don't waste three beautiful okra plants that I could have ate in. But I waited to the last minute and didn't come out and they are very tough and very hard. Look at Listen to that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, so I won't do that anymore because I could have been eating that. So I have two okra plants that I can go ahead and eat. I'm going to take these two off here and I'm going to enjoy these two. Got two okra plants I'm going to add to the basket. And this is really great guys. I have an event this weekend that I have to make salad. So I'm going to definitely enjoy those two cucumbers that's going to cover the whole salad. I am super stoked about that. All right, so we're going to move over to the peppers. They are looking really nice. I did see if they grow a little bit bigger. And this weekend, I'm going to pluck them off. <gasps> oh, no, guys. I just broke the branch. Man. Okay. Oh, that one didn't look too great anyway. So that's going to go to the trash. But I could have let that grow and ate that. This weekend added to the um, the pile. So, all right. So again, I'm not going to touch these. I'm gonna let those stay for now. All right. So now we at that okra plant that I had the issue. I don't see any more white flies. So, oh wow, I see a little teeny bit. Correction. I saw a little bit when I lift that up. 
Okay, well, I'm grateful. It's not a lot at all, so I'm going to have to do a little spray. Again, I'm just going to do a water solution because I did the the other solution, soapy water, last time because it was a lot. And they are really getting minimized, which is great. So, let me check this one, too. Let's see. Oh. Okay, well, that's great. It must have just been one, a couple of them on, on this one. Okay, that's even better. All right. So we're going to move over to, this is my third cucumber plant. It's not doing much of nothing. I do see a couple of buds coming on there, but nothing growing where we can really see the cucumbers quite yet. Just the little buds and some nice flowers on here. Now, this is my first time planting in September, so I have to see if these are going to really do any production. But it's a test. This is my first year, so we will see. All right. Now we're going to move over to my San Mazario plant that I had mentioned earlier. Let's see. Okay, so I have one. I've got this one right here is split. I don't know. They've been splitting a lot. I guess due to the rain. I have had a lot of rain. And I'm like, man, I did enjoy two. Like I said, I two or oh, was it two or three? Um, I did enjoy like two or three of them about three weeks ago. That one split, so that won't be any good. Okay, that one is split in somewhat too. Let me see. I wonder if this one can stay on here because it feels kind of ready. I want to take it off and let it hold. Sorry guys, I had my hand in there. I want to take this one off and see if it will last, but I'm going to leave it on here two more days until Saturday. Maybe that'll be one I can add to the store book once that I don't have a lot. But the split ones I'm going to remove because there's no need to keep them on to take energy from the other um, tomato plants. So I'm going to also cut off some of these extra limbs that's not really doing anything. Um, I did hear that cutting off some of them it helps encourage the plant to grow. And I really would like to see more growth on some of these ones that have fruit on them. So I am going to cut some of them off. Okay. Cut that one. Okay, anything that looks a little dead, cut them off. Got a little fruit that's producing. I don't see any blossom and rot, which is really great. I spoke too soon, guys. I think this one is a blossom in right here. So we're going to take that one off. Okay. Yeah, anything that's struggling, just go ahead and get rid of. You don't need to keep it on there. Because it's taking energy from the plants that's growing. Over here, I have another cherry tomato hopefully that produces we'll see these are my purple peppers let's see if this one's doing good I'm afraid to really touch it because it's so light I don't want to break it so this looks beautiful I'm not going to touch these until this weekend and I have a red one over here wow That might be ready. That look like it's ready. Moving on to my other pepper plant. Now this is my first time seeing these colors. I'm going to have to research that to make sure this is okay. Um, but I did hear something about when the weather changed. Sometimes the color of the plant is color because of the weather. So I'm going to look into that just to make sure this is normal for the colors to change. 
um, on a pepper plant. I do know that uh, tomato plants can change a little color because of the weather. I've seen them a little purple, and they just said due to the change of the weather, but I'll look in that just to make sure okay guys i have one fruit down there i'm gonna pluck today i'm gonna go in now and i have one more down here i'm gonna get that one as well guys to be totally honest i can't even recall what this is so i'm gonna have to look this up in my little garden list and see exactly what this is it smells like a cantaloupe. It might be one of my melons. I think it's one of my melons. That's what it smells like. Well, I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Guys, I didn't even think uh, I had anything back there. I happened to look like, oh my goodness. So let me go put this in my basket. I thank the Lord for the blessing once again. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, let me move something around real quick. I don't want to smush nothing. All right, there we go. All right, guys. So I'm over on my next San Mazario. This little thing is doing horribly. This one is going to go in the trash. It's just splitting. I don't know why these are splitting so much. But this was an experiment plant, so maybe this is not a big enough plant. But let me see. Let's move over on to my sand. Oh, no, these are my atomic tomatoes. They seem to be doing pretty well. Okay, so these two. Oh, man, this one is splitting. This one split it too, guys. And it feels about right. Let me try the other one here and see if this one is good. Wow. They keep splitting. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm not sure why. <sighs> okay, let's try the other ones. I have a couple of more over here. Let me get to those. Okay, that split. Hmm. I would like to have tried one of them. Okay. This one needs to sit a little bit longer. I'm going to take that one off. But this one split it to no good. This is hard. So when they turn this color, this is my understanding that they're done. But they have split it. Um, this one has split. So we're going to throw that one away. All right. So I have one more sand. Oh, wow. What is making them split? That one split too, right there. Hmm. That one split it too. Okay, we have one down here. Let's see if these are okay. Okay, yes, guys. I got two. No splits. Well, thank you, Jesus. Let's put this in here. I am grateful. Let's see what else we have. Okay. I have two. Oh, look at that. I was almost hopeful. No good. There's another one that bites the dust. Okay, let's see if this one is any good. Okay, great. It's a couple of spider webs, y'all. I don't see no spiders, but those little black spiders be scaring me. Um, okay. Let's see if this one's any good. <laughs> no good again. Okay. Two more guys. Yeah, so here's my losses. Um, these gashes, I would never eat that. That is not something that you want to eat with those gashes in there. Just go ahead and toss that in the trash. And these are my blessings. I'm very grateful. 
All right, so we're taking a look at my lima bean plant. Let's go ahead and cut anything off that looks distorted. We're going to put that right on in the trash. This one looks really nice. Hopefully that will produce some lima beans. I love lima beans, guys. Oh, I hope I get some. Okay, this one is distorted. Cut that right on off. This one is too. And that last one looks pretty decent. Hopefully that'll produce some. Up here, we got some of these little spots on here. We're going to cut that leaf off. Cut that one. Yeah, pretty much that poor thing. It's just a fig over there. Well, but it's growing nicely. This is growing pretty nice. Looks really good. So, again, make sure to remove the dead leaves. And I'm going to do one little shake to see if any white flies. Okay, just very little. Very, very little. Okay, well, I'm pleased again. Okay, so I'll do another just water solution today. No soap. And then I'll come back again and check. Okay, this is my herb garden. It's doing really great. I believe this is rosemary. Then we have some beautiful basil. The leaves are doing so pretty. Then we have some cilantro over there. Looking really, really nice. Now we have my seedlings, the spinach, cabbage, and the dwarf kale is not doing too great. All the other ones are sprouting so beautifully. I guess I'm going to give them a couple more days before I take them out and plant them directly into their new homes. Looking forward to some beautiful um, brassicas this September. So we're moving on to my coleus plants. I have several different ones. This particular one appears to be going to seed. I don't know a lot about this, so um, I'm not really sure, but I believe that's what that's looking like. And these are my rainbow plants over here. I really love this arrangement. It's really nice and rich. Got the rich greens and the rich, I think that's burgundy and light um, burgundy, I believe. But it's really nice, especially this green with the outside. I really love those. That's one of my favorite ones in the back right here. Over here, I have my turnip bottoms. I see some of them are growing. I'm going to let them get a little bigger before I pull them out. Hey, guys. So, that's pretty much the tour for today. I wanted to show you um, how you can also harvest some of your marigold plants. These are some of the Miracle Dry plants that I had. And um, I'm just going to, well, actually, I'm going to just pull these off and go ahead and um, harvest these for next year. So let me show you what they look like. I did a couple of them earlier. So this is the Marigold seeds that I'm going to have for next year from my tomato plant over there where I had my tomato plant at um I had some marigold planted around it so let me show you real quick this is my dry marigold you take it you pull it off cut it whichever is easy for you this is the dry marigold flower I'm going to show you how to harvest the seeds for next year so what you do you just pull it apart and the seeds will just fall right on out I have so many seeds 
to use for next year. I'm just super excited because I'm just learning so much this year, starting gardening um, since February. So I'm going to get as many uh, marigold seeds as I can from the dry plants that I have left. Follow my Instagram page at Peace in the Garden 01. So this is how you save marigold seeds. I like to take it a step further. I put it on parchment paper on top of my refrigerator for about 48 hours. Make sure that it's dry. Then I put them in either a little Ziploc bag or a little paper bag, label it, and you're good to go. So that's how you save them. Peace and love. Have a great day. Bye.